Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about attracting pollinators and beneficial insects to your garden. Stick around. One of the things I've really enjoyed about starting this food forest is actually watching the life movement and growing my plants inside of an ecosystem. My pest philosophy is that I have to allow a certain amount of pests if I'm going to get the natural predators to those pests moving in and keeping the system in balance. One of my biggest projects for this coming year is actually an ecosystem pond. And in this area, even though I want to plant plants that are going to look great, there's no reason I can't stack functions and also plant stuff that's going to bring in insect predators. The big ones that I want to get, my favorite insects that I really want to attract to my pond, are going to be dragonflies, but they'll come naturally. I also want to get butterflies and most importantly, green lacewings along with ladybugs that I already have a natural population of. These green lacewing flies have a voracious appetite for aphids, but also cabbage flies, coddling moth larvae, and just overall, they're very, very voracious eaters. So these six plants are gonna attract green lacewings, butterflies, but they're also gonna double as ornamentals and food. The first plant I have for you is dill. Now a lot of people know about dill, but what they don't know about it is that it's an amazing beneficial insect attractor. It's also not a perennial, it's an annual, but it reseeds very, very easily. So just make sure you let some go straight to seed so that they can come back next year. Touted as being one of the best green lacewing attractors is alyssums. Now this plant is not edible, and it's one of the only plants I have in my food forest that is not edible, but what I really like about it is how it creeps across rocks and hangs over. Rocks are its natural habitat. It grows along river edges and rocky edges, so this is gonna really soften the edge of those rocks up. Next, we have another culinary plant, cilantro or coriander. In the US and Canada, we refer to cilantro for the leaves and coriander for the seeds. In the UK and the EU, uh, it's just coriander leaf and coriander seed. So this is just another culinary plant that green lacewings just love. Yarrow is a favorite plant of mine and now we're entering medicinal use plants. So just the warning that I am not a doctor and to do your own research before using these. While excessive and constant use of this plant has been shown to make the skin more sensitive to sunlight, in medical trials, it's been shown to be a great anti-inflammatory, as well as treating colds, fevers, kidney diseases, and menstrual pain. Up next is a plant that almost everyone's heard of, but hardly anybody plants, fennel. Not only is fennel an amazing beneficial insect attractor, especially for green lacewings, but the whole plant's edible. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the leaf stalks or flower heads, you can dry the seeds and extract oil and make cakes and bread with it. And you can even eat the roots. The roots kind of taste like a parsnip. Medicinally, although some sources I found said it shouldn't be given to pregnant women, the plant has been shown to be analgesic, anti-inflammatory, aromatic, anti-spasmodic, diuretic, and it's an expectorant and a laxative. For thousands of years, it's been used in the treatment of indigestion, abdominal distension, stomach pains. It's also used as the treatment of kidney stones and as well for urinary infections. And finally, it can be used as a gargle for sore throats and even some sources say an eye wash for sore eyes. And it attracts beneficial insects. Bachelor's button is another plant I looked up, but it's labeled as invasive in my country. So I'm actually not even gonna take the risk of planting it but it's a great beneficial insect attractor. Similarly, butterfly bush, invasive. 
so I'm going to stay away from it as much as I know that it attracts butterflies. The last plant I have for you is daisies. Now while mostly ornamental, what a lot of people don't know is you can actually eat the leaves. It's more of a starvation food though. Uh, but then it also has medicinal uses. Historically, the leaves have been applied externally to wounds to speed healing, as well chewing fresh leaves is said to be a cure for mouth ulcers. So that's it. Six plants that you should try to plant to encourage one of the best garden friends, green lacewings. Um, as well as two that maybe you should reconsider planting if it was on your radar before. Just double check that it's invasive. Hey, and if you enjoy the video and you want to see more, the best way to help me out is just to spread the word about the channel over social media to your friends, to other people who are just passionate about gardening and ecosystem development. Hit that subscribe button, the like button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.